Lincoln Riley to USC is the most significant coaching hire since fill in the blank. He said just in terms of pure football and overall college football landscape. He's from Garnet Valley, Pennsylvania. I went with Kirby Smart on this. Kirby was hired at Georgia after the 2015 season. Yeah. So he went to Georgia 2016. He's been there 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and then just won the national title last year. Lincoln Riley to USC. I think that's the biggest hire since what we see here with Kirby Smart because of what it triggered in the SEC. See, what do people expect from Lincoln Riley? That's the way we have to frame this. People expect Lincoln Riley to walk into a program in USC that has been a powerhouse before, and even if it hadn't won titles under Pete Carroll, even if it had been the John McKay era since the last time that you saw them rolling, you would know what they're capable of. And you would expect that if the right guy gets in there, then it's going to trigger this wave of success, the likes of which we haven't seen in a generation or two or three uh, national championships, uh, multiple recruiting classes inside the top five, and the brand will resonate from coast to coast. That's what people expect Lincoln Riley to do at USC. They expect him to do a version of what Pete Carroll was able to do. They just want to maybe sustain it over a longer period of time, right? Well, that's what Kirby Smart has done and is still in the process of doing at Georgia. And just like on the West Coast, if you're a Utah fan or if you're a UCLA fan, on one hand, you want USC to be good because it's good for the conference, but just selfishly, you don't want them to be good because you know they have access to more resources than you do. Thus, your best shot at winning the conference is USC being down. Well, in the South, people thought that way for a long time about Georgia. While Mark Richt was a very good coach, and that's how I classify him, a very good coach, people were comfortable with Mark Richt being at Georgia if you were a Florida fan if you were a South Carolina fan or an Alabama fan or whatever the case may be, because even though you respected him and you thought he was pretty good, you never thought Mark Richt was going to make Georgia a perennial powerhouse. Yet you knew they could be. It's kind of like Bryant used to talk about Florida back in the day. Like Bear Bryant's got Alabama rolling, but he used to always talk about the University of Florida. Before they had ever realized their own potential, he would say, if Florida ever gets it figured out, we're all done. Florida eventually got it figured out in the 90s with a guy named Steve Spurrier. And then they showed you again what they're capable of with Urban Meyer in the mid and latter portion of the 2000s. Well, people have always known that about Georgia in the South. People have always known what they could be capable of. And that whole talking point of, well, they haven't won a title since 1980, that never mattered relative to what they were capable of. That just meant they haven't realized the expectation or the possibility. You could say the same thing about Texas A&M. A&M hadn't won a national championship in the modern era. It doesn't mean they can't. They could do it tomorrow. They could do it this year. They've always been capable of it. Well, when Kirby got hired at Georgia, there were some people who mocked it, but they mocked it really as a defense mechanism because secretly they were really terrified that Georgia just nailed it. And they did. History has shown that they have nailed it. And now they do recruit inside the top five every year or better. Now they have shown you they can win a national championship. And now they're looking to put an S. They're looking to pluralize that. And that's what people expect from Lincoln Riley. So I think... Lincoln Riley is the biggest hire since Kirby Smart. I think that is the equivalent. And I was trying to search my mind for other examples of this, but I don't know that anyone else has been the equal of what Kirby Smart has accomplished and what people expect Lincoln Riley to accomplish. I think that people have high expectations for Brian Kelly. I think uh, people have high expectations for Brent Venables. I'm not sure that the expectation level nationally, let me put it that way, is the same as it is for Lincoln Riley. Everyone nationally is looking at Lincoln Riley saying, this is what he's got to do or he is viewed as a failure. Fair or not, that's the way this business works. Okay, next up. Huh, that, one's, um, that, one, that one made me think a little bit harder than I wanted to. I'll just be real with you.